was the uh, that was the intro to a un previously unknown who song. Oh. Whatever you just did, it's yeah. like I, it, welcome. It, it was left welcome. on the cutting room floor of uh, the Tommy Rock Opera. Oh. Well, it sounded beautiful and. Thank you. Uh, what a great guitar. Yeah, Welcome, this Quentin. is uh, uh, very gorgeous. Yeah, very Paul gorgeous. here, Music Villa. We're in Bozeman, Montana. And, uh, you know, we haven't done a hummingbird in a while. And what's cool about this one is, you know, okay, you got your hummingbird. When you normally see a hummingbird, it's the vintage cherry. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a pretty red guitar. <laughs> some people love it. Some people are like, eh. But you can't deny the fact that the hummingbird is just such a good sounding guitar. And it I've is. always asked him in the, over the years. I said, "Why can't you just make just make a guitar, just a square shoulder guitar, no birds, no nothing, no red?" And they've tried that, and it just for some reason they never sell. But they're amazing sounding guitars. It's a mahogany back and side, spruce top. But what's cool about this one is just the vintage sunburst, so not the cherry sunburst. Mm -hmm. And we haven't had one of these in a while, and I just love the look of that. Their sunbursts are awesome, and I mean the thing just sounds. It just well, it just sounds mm. like you were saying in my head. It sounds like a you know a thousand classic rock songs and folk yeah. songs from the fifties all the way up through the seventies and eighties. I mean, in the sixties, that was guitar. that was a huge guitar in the sixties. Yeah. It's a Gibson tone, man, I'm telling you. Like, it's just got, you know, the J45 has its tone, the, the Hummingbird has its tone, the J200. They're just, they're cool. They're really cool. What can you say? Uh, you can say a lot. See, you can say they're awesome. Uh, and they're, they just, they do sound really good. This one, you know, um, I, I, I think I've said this before. We've done tons and tons of videos uh, with the acoustic letter now. For a while, I'm gonna fix this because it's just the you know, I'm, I'm a vic I'm slave to fashion, Sorry. so it's Thank bugging you. me. Yeah. yeah, you bet. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. It's our, cold down here. We have wardrobe uh, failures. Our makeup team out front, you know. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they let us it's... walk in looking less than perfect. Anyway. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Um, what I was gonna say is that you know, in the <laughs> one of the other videos we just recently shot featuring the, this beautiful K35 right behind me. I, I mentioned that, you know, I would, guitars like that make me contemplate abandoning my loyalty to Martin and my HD20. I don't mean Martin in general. I mean my not, specific yeah, guitar. Yeah. The guitar that I love. You might sell your guitar for one my of these, but then you would get a different HD28. You right. would still always have a Martin HD28, yeah. but you might just get a different one. Well, you know, it's the type of guitar that, like, if, if uh, oh, this is a terrible analogy, and I apologize to my wife in advance, I'd, I'd say it's like, <laughs> it's the type of guitar that could uh, cause a midlife crisis, you know, where mm -hmm. you love your instrument, and it's everything that you've always wanted, it's just delivered and solid, you trust it, everything's good, and then along comes this other, you know, yeah. amazing new thing, and... Uh, it's tough. It's, a yeah, tough, it's tough out there. It, I'm not saying you should do it. Yeah, I'm just saying I can I can see why people would, yeah, want to. There's explore. a reason why you need many guitars. Yeah, right. well, see, yeah, yeah. that's just uh, that's where people, the analogy fails. Here. One one wife, many guitars. And one then, wife, you know, then, many the, guitars. It's got to be yeah. the right wife then, or there spouse, husband, yeah. whoever who can tolerate that that addiction. But uh, well, cool. Well, that's great. That's a hummingbird, and yeah. it's a standard Gibson hummingbird. They're making incredible guitars, and uh, we'll get to the end. Speaking of. D28. I got a guitar for you. We're going to do it next. I got uh -oh. a guitar that could make you abandon yours. So, stay tuned. <laughs> that's Quentin. the new running theme of the show. Yeah. Is we're going to find a guitar that's yeah. going to make Quentin give up his HD28. Yeah, I think I got that's one. A, that's a tough sell. Okay, we're going to do it next. Quentin, right. thank you. Thanks you everyone bet. for watching. Uh,